So this InnoView portable monitor was sent to me to review and it works with a ton of devices. So right now I have it set up on my Microsoft Surface and in this configuration, I've actually extended my desktop. So I basically have two monitors, but you can set it to just duplicate as well. So with this setup, I'm using the USB-C output. Now you see two cables here. One of them is actually powering the monitor. So this is going to a brick that's plugged into 110 volt um, outlet, just like a phone charger. And then this USB-C cable is what's going to the computer. So if you have a device that can provide video output um, via USB-C, um, it'll work with this monitor. Now, alternatively, you can use this HDMI cable that's included. So it goes from mini HDMI that plugs in right here, and then you can plug this end into any HDMI output. So video game console, DVD player, Blu-ray player, any type of HDMI output um, can feed video to this monitor. Now you can also plug your cell phone into it and it'll duplicate the display here. But if you play something like a video uh, in Go landscape like this, it'll play it on the full screen. Now you'll also notice it does have built-in speakers, which is great because they're kind of better than like, you know, the speakers built into your cell phone. So you can kind of get an idea of the quality of the video here. Um, this is a 1080p monitor, 15.8 uh, inch diagonal. So it's a pretty decent size. It's a good size um, that's also portable. So um, I think it's a great compromise between size, pixel density, and portability. Now, here it is um, connected to a recent iPad, and unfortunately, I can't figure out a way to uh, extend the display. And I feel like there should be a way to do that with the latest update in iOS, um, but I'm just not seeing an option. It's basically just duplicating the display. But even though you're limited to this um, configuration, I still think it's great for certain scenarios. Like if you're sitting down with a client, you wanna be able to see your screen, but you know they're sitting across from you, you can have the interview monitor flipped around the other side of the iPad. So you're basically back to back and you can both see what's on the screen. So here's what the screen looks like um, in its case. So this case doubles as a stand. Um, so you kind of unfold it like this. There's a little magnet that keeps it connected to the back here. And so you just lay this out. Um, there's a couple of different angles that you can set it. You basically lay it out just like this. This kind of pushes in like that. So you can set it at this angle or at this angle. So it kind of doubles as a stand and a uh, protective case. Now it's not really, um, you know, it's some sort of kind of plastic material, but it has a nice texture on it. Um, so it, it gives some traction, some grip when you're holding onto it, it kind of looks nice as well. Now you can see how thin the monitor is. Um, very lightweight, easy to carry around. You've got your three uh, inputs right here. So these are full function USB-C ports right here and the mini HDMI input right there. You can uh, run just a single USB cable to this um, for video and power, but it's recommended in, a, in most cases to use the included power supply um, to provide independent power to the monitor. Um, separate from the video feed. Now over here you have the power button, you have the uh, control for the menu, so you can enter the menu right here and then go up, down, and then press um, to select, and you do have a headphone jack as well. There are a pair of mounting locations right here if you wanna put this on a mount. Now you can just adjust the volume by pushing the rocker down or up. To enter the menu, you press it in and you have a bunch of kind of typical um, menu items for brightness, contrast, color settings, audio settings, other 
and um, manually changing the input source. Now I found you don't really need to manually change it. It'll automatically detect um, the input when you plug it in. Now, one last thing I wanna mention about this product that really surprised me was the customer service. So they sent me one initially and I was having issues with it. I think it was literally just the cable was faulty. I couldn't get it to connect to my phone. The only way I could get it to work is if I used the HDMI cable. So I reached out to their support and they were extremely helpful. It wasn't just like a copy paste response. Um, they were very committed to helping me troubleshoot it initially and then quickly um, decided to send me a replacement. So they sent me a replacement hassle-free. Uh, this one worked flawlessly as I initially expected. Um, so I kind of was surprised by that because a lot of these uh, lesser known brands tend to not be solid with their customer service. And this definitely was not the case. They had very good customer service. So that is the 15.8 inch portable monitor by InnoView.